Hey everyone, it's Jamil. Have you ever wondered how to find success on YouTube as a music producer, but didn't know where to start or how to break through? YouTube can be overwhelming, and there are hundreds of hours of content being uploaded every minute. So how do you make yourself stand out from the crowd and figure out what the best practices are for being a producer on YouTube? TubeBuddy is a free browser extension that'll help you do things like track your keyword rankings, discover popular search terms, suggest tags, and measure the success of both you and your competition among so many other things. So let's go through all these things and I'll show you from start to finish what we can do with TubeBuddy. So let's start on our YouTube homepage. From the YouTube homepage, you can click this TubeBuddy icon. This will show you some of TubeBuddy's most popular features. Today I wanna to focus on three of them. The Keyword Explorer, Best Practices Check, and Video Lytics. First to talk about the Keyword Explorer, I want to bring in our community director, Mike Trampy. What's up, everybody? It's Mike Trampy, bstars.com community director, and I'm here to show you some really cool stuff with TubeBuddy and the Keyword Explorer. Let's get into it. Okay, as you can see, we're inside YouTube now. Um, I have TubeBuddy installed. I'm signed in. Um, I have all the little TubeBuddy icons um, you know, all around, all around YouTube when you're logged into TubeBuddy. But um, what I'm going to actually do is, instead of searching here in the main bar, I'm actually going to go to this little menu, TubeBuddy menu. I'm going to pick it, I'm going to slide down the Keyword Explorer, I'm going to open that up. Let that open up. And now we have a chance to kind of put in whatever keywords we want to look at. Now, J. Cole just recently released an album in the last two weeks. Um, I want to look him up and kind of see what his traffic's looking like with his keywords. So let's just type in J. Cole Type B, right? Because, you know, people usually gravitate towards the Type B for the artist. Give it a second to load. It's going to show you some trending data, some related searches. Um, a weighted and unweighted score. Uh, weighted is more detailed to your account, your audience, and kind of the content you put out. Um, so as you can see, it's poor, it's not too good if I wanted to use this tag on my account. Um, an unweighted score is more just like a general overview. So it's not a horrible tag, but it's not that great either. But we're really gonna focus on weighted um, because you guys will be inside your accounts. So you'll wanna look at the weighted score over the unweighted score for the most part. Um, overall, you can see the search volume is amazing. There's so much search volume. There's almost 6 million videos. Um, so, you know, that's good. But the problem is there's just so much competition. Um, so it will tell you the competition's poor um, and the optimization strength is bad. Even though it's in green, you would think, oh, green means good. But no, here you want it lower because optimization strength basically means that the people who are ranking on this tag right now have their videos very well optimized from tags, the title, um, to thumbnails, to all these different things, and amazing content, right? So you want this to actually be lower. So overall, this is really not that great of a tag to use. Um, so I would I would want to look for a different type of variation of this, right? Now, you can actually click all these related ones over here, um, and then you can hit action, and you hit copy to clipboard. So you can actually bring them all over to your YouTube video just to plug them right in, so you don't have to do them one by one or type them in. So this is pretty cool. Um, it will give you some other common tags as well up here of like what other people are using when they use J. Cole. Um, video topic, Google search. There's a whole bunch of different stuff in here that you can take a look at, but we're gonna stay kind of on the YouTube, right? That's that's what we're looking at. Um, so let's like find a variation maybe that we like. So how about free J. Cole beat? Or free J. Cole type beat? Let's give it a second to load and kind of see what our results are. Again, your weighted score is going to be poor. Um, your search volume is actually not that high on this, and there's already a lot of competition and it's optimized well. So something like this I would stay away from. So the J. Cole searches weren't that great. Um, there's a lot of competition, and they're not that great of a weighted or an unweighted score. So let's shift things over to a different search and see what we can find out. Um, let's say we're trying to make a, you know, a newer version of Old Town Road. We want to look for like a country, a country trap beat. Something in that lane, all right? Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the year to help filter down. So if someone's looking for this beat, it's going to be more relevant to the year they're searching for. So Country Trap Beat 2021. Check that out. Give it a second. And there you go. Excellent. 91 out of 100. Um, total score weighted. And then the unweighted score is 82 out of 100. So both very good. Um, the search volume is pretty high on it. Um, there's not a ton of competition and, but the people, um, you know, who are optimizing it aren't really optimizing it that well. So there is a ton of opportunity on this, on this tag. Um, and I think overall with country 
trap and those tags kind of mixed together with the year without the year i think overall they could be a good tag to look into so this is just another cool way that you can check things out and kind of see kind of uh, what kind of opportunities you have now that we know about the keyword explorer let's talk about the best practices check the best practices check is a great way to keep track of a bunch of small things that are really important to finding success on youtube first you'll want to add a high-res thumbnail Thumbnails are a major factor in people deciding if they want to click on your video or not. High-res thumbnails will perform better. TubeBuddy has a thumbnail creator you can use to your advantage if you aren't too familiar with graphic design. Or you can design your own and upload it here. Using a custom thumbnail will always be better than using a frame from the video. Next on the checklist is info cards. Info cards make your videos more engaging by adding pop-ups that can direct your viewers to additional information. For example, you can use these info cards to link to other similar beat videos on your channel, or back to your BeatStars page to complete a purchase for the beat they're listening to. You can place these periodically throughout your video to link to multiple things. Next, we have end screen added. You'll want to add an end screen to your video in order to give your viewers something to watch next after they've finished watching your video. You should be adding a subscribe button, and preferably a playlist of similar beats here. Next, they recommend to heart and pin a comment. You should be trying to respond to every comment you can to engage with your fans. This is a great way to build your fan base and talk to viewers who can become potential customers. Hearting and pinning at least one comment will let viewers know that you care about your fans and are responsive to communication. If people see your personality along with your art, they'll love it even more. Then we have liked on Facebook. This is just a reminder to like the video on Facebook if you shared it there as well. Next is captions added. If you create something where you're speaking any particular language, it's important to add captions to your video to accommodate audiences from other countries. You're able to have Google Translate do this for you automatically, but just be sure to double check on it with a native speaker of the language, because Google Translate isn't always perfect and some things can get lost in translation. And lastly, we have chapters added. On longer videos with multiple parts to them, chapters give people the option to quickly skip to the part of the video they're most interested in. If you upload full albums in one video, you can use chapters to give people the ability to quickly skip to different tracks. Now, let's check out Videolytics. Videolytics is a great way to see some important info about both your own videos and your competition. Let's check out the Videolytics to one of the most popular videos on the main BeatStars channel. You'll get a quick summary of how many views, comments, and likes the videos has on top. Below that, you'll get an SEO breakdown. This is where you can see how many of the suggested videos are also from the same channel, how many of your tags are ranked, and then an overall SEO score built up of five different factors. You can see here that we have 10 out of 20 ratings for the tags being in the title and description, the tags being in the title, and the tags in description. So now we know exactly what we need to fix in order to maximize our SEO. Let's go ahead and click this edit button to do that first. First we need to get our tags in the title and description. The first thing I'm going to do is delete one of my tags that isn't ranking because that isn't helping with my SEO and it'll free up more characters for me to use. Then I'll just copy my title and paste it into the tags. That should help out the first two things on the list. And now to boost my tags and description score, I'll just copy all of my tags and paste them into the description box. Now let's save this and go back to check on our SEO score. We can see that all of these things immediately helps make a difference and boost our score. Now we can see how we're doing on social media. This video has seven likes on Facebook. Below that, you get some overall insight on the channel itself. This section can be useful for checking out your competitors to see how they're performing. And below that, you can get a summary of your best practices checklist. And then this is where you can see all of your tags for your video again. And if you click on this button up here, it'll show you each of the tags rankings. Remember that you can see this info for any video uploaded to YouTube and not only your own with TubeBuddy. The last thing I want to mention is that you can use this compare button at the top to compare this video's data to any other video on YouTube. 
This could be great if you're trying to see the scores for your videos in comparison to other similar beat videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching this video. Give TubeBuddy a try and let us know how it helps you take your YouTube page to the next level.